Sudden changes in policy have hugely damaging effects on the amount of money YouTubers are making on YouTube. For example, check this out. I was getting around 60 million views a month and my check each month um, for that time would be a little over $275,000. And then a year and a half ago, or like two years ago, it like kind of got cut. And now I'm, now I get 200 million views, which is, you know, more than three times the amount of views I was getting before. But now my paycheck is under $2,000. So that was David Dobrik talking about how a YouTube policy change last year had a huge impact in the amount of money he was making on the platform. Okay, so the first new policy we're going to talk about has led to YouTube turning off payments for old videos already on the site and stopping payments for new videos altogether. And in addition to that, you can also get a $42,000 fine if you break this policy. At the end of 2019, YouTube introduced a new policy targeting videos that were aimed at kids. So the result of this new policy was that videos aimed at kids can no longer have high paying ads attached to them. So creators that were making videos targeting kids that were potentially previously making 10 or $15 per thousand views were now making $1 or less per thousand views. And in some cases, they were making nothing at all for the views they were getting. And as I mentioned earlier, if you break this policy, you can get fined up to $42,000, which we're gonna talk about in more detail in just a second. Now, as a result of this new policy, all creators are now required to manually tell YouTube if their content is aimed at children or if it's not. Now, this requires a few technical steps in the settings area of YouTube. And if you go ahead and watch this video that I've made in the past, I'll show you exactly how to do that to tell YouTube that your content is not made for kids so that you can keep making money on the platform. And this is where the fine comes in. If you put out videos aimed at kids, but you try and trick YouTube into believing it's not aimed at kids, you can get that $42,000 fine. So it's important that you go into the settings, you set everything up correctly to make sure that you don't lose out financially. It's estimated that up to one third of the videos on YouTube are aimed at kids. So that's a serious reduction in previous earnings that YouTubers were making. All right, next up, the second policy that's been introduced at the start of 2020 that is making YouTubers lose millions is the changes in the YouTube harassment policy. Okay, so the harassment policy changes that are affecting YouTubers' earnings. So at the end of 2019, going into 2020, the harassment policy on YouTube that already existed was added to. And with this change in policy, old successful videos that were making a lot of money were actually taken down off YouTube completely. So the existing harassment policy existed to stop harassment, threatening, and bullying on YouTube. It blocked videos that encouraged viewers to go to another video and leave cruel comments. It blocked videos that shared people's private information in those videos. And it also blocked videos that recorded people without their consent. But new stricter rules have been added to the harassment policy at the start of 2020. Those rules are stricter stance on threats. So videos that have a vague or implied threat of violence. So you're saying things like, you better watch out, are now blocked on YouTube. Um, using abusive language in your videos. So prolonged or malicious insults towards someone else now break harassment policy. And if you break the new policy, your videos will be removed and there's potentially some worse punishments I'll get to in just a second. An example of a big money-making video that got taken down was a video from popular YouTuber iDubbbz that you can see here, who has nearly 8 million subscribers. iDubbbz has a video series called Content Cop, which get, if you can see the one on here, has 20 million views for this Content Cop. And if we scroll down his Content Cop playlist, we can see here, number eight, there's a deleted video in the series. And if we scroll down to iDubbbz tweet here, we can see that YouTube sent him an email back in December announcing that his video Content Cop Leafy had been removed because of their new policy. Steven Crowder, who we can see here with 4.3 million subscribers, another big YouTuber, has had a number of his videos removed because they now break the newly amended harassment policy. Now YouTube's put out a statement telling you exactly what will happen if you break the new harassment policy. Let's have a read. If your content violates this policy, we'll remove the content and send you an email to let you know. If this is your first time violating our community guidelines, you'll get warned, but no penalty to your channel. 
If it's not, we'll issue a strike against your channel. If you get three strikes, then your channel will be terminated. This removal of videos and potential closure of people's YouTube channel are removing potentially the only source of income that a lot of YouTubers have, and that's their YouTube channel. So this change in harassment policy is leading to YouTubers losing millions in 2020. So the lesson to be learned here is YouTube policies change all the time, and you need to make sure you're updated with new policy changes as and when they're rolled out. It's the only way to keep making money on the website. So subscribe to this channel to hear about these policy changes as and when they come out in the future.